Thank you, David. Um, so as David mentioned, as I'm sure we're all aware, the COVID pandemic is uh, nowhere near uh, ending. Uh, there are continuing to be more and more uh, waves of infection. And as more people get infected, you run into scenarios where you can get not just mutations, single point mutations that lead to variants, but every once in a while, you'll get what's called a recombinant variant, where a person is infected with two different variants, and then they share genetic material, and then all of a sudden you have what's called a recombinant variant. This particular one you're going to be hearing about over the next several days and weeks, likely, uh, it's a subvariant of Omicron. Uh, and as we know, Omicron was the most uh, uh, infectious uh, variant of, of, of uh, COVID, and now this is the most sub- this is the most infectious subvariant of Omicron. Uh, it's XBB15, and some people have dubbed it uh, the Kraken variant. Do not ask me why they called it Kraken or where they came up with the name. I don't think there's any rhyme or reason. Uh, it sounds very menacing, but uh, what we do know now is that A, it is very infectious and highly transmissible. Uh, B, it is a recombinant variant, which means that clearly there's still a lot of spread of, uh, of Omicron worldwide. As a result of it being so infectious, it, the numbers are skyrocketing. So at the beginning of December in the United States, uh, this represented less than 0.1% uh, of all infections. The week before Christmas, it was up to 20%. At the end of uh, December, it was up to 45%. And uh, in the Northeast, and including uh, Michigan, it was accounting for up to 75% of all infections. Uh, and we do know in Windsor, being a border city, that we are going to be uh, one of the first areas in Canada to see a variant like this uh, enter our community. Uh, and I don't think there's any question that it is already in, in our community. Now, it's not all bad news. Uh, the good news is there was a small study in the New England Journal of Medicine that shows that the uh, the bivalent vaccines do have good effect against this uh, subvariant. Uh, and we also know that some of our therapeutic measures are also effective against the subvariants of Omicron. So with simple vaccination and mask use, there is still, uh, we still have great mitigation strategies for the spread of the virus, and we still have therapeutics that can work for it. What we do not know yet about this subvariant, about the Kraken variant, is uh, how deadly it is. Uh, we're not sure whether it's leading to increased hospitalizations, but the World Health Organization is doing uh, studies and tracking it very closely. Uh, but this is a variant that you will be hearing a lot about in the next couple of weeks because it is likely to become uh, globally dominant uh, in the near future. 